at Madison Holly's apartment where you can clearly see all of the damage to the roof that the storm caused back on July 14th. She wasn't able to get a hold of property management or maintenance and was left with no choice but to sleep in here. She's managed for the last three weeks to go with little to no communication from management here until she made contact with the American Red Cross. It's not about the personal belongings. It's about not having a home. I don't have anywhere to sleep. I don't have anywhere to shower. Holly says maintenance used tarps to cover the roof to keep water from leaking inside. Still, part of her ceiling formed a large bubble. And they told me to poke a hole in the ceiling and just let the water drain. So I was changing out buckets every five minutes into the sink and outside. And then it had reached a point where it was uncontrollable. Holly says she had no choice but to terminate her lease, which property management accommodated at no cost. Her decision confirmed after the American Red Cross went to her apartment and said it was inhabitable. It was nice to have somebody there that knew what next steps I needed to take because I've never been in a situation that has left me this vulnerable. Martin Lopez, city code enforcer, says another unit was condemned after the roof was completely blown off. The owners are responsible for assisting the tenant in moving them to another unit or however they do their arrangement with the tenant. Holly says by the time she was offered a hotel, she was getting help from the American Red Cross and didn't take the offer. A laborer at the complex says if insurance didn't take two weeks to get to Tucson after the storm, the cleanup could have started sooner. Well, of course. Because they would, they would have given us the go ahead to get a hazmat team or whatever in here and get all this stripped down. As repairs continue at the complex, a statement from Fort Lowell Realty and Property Management says the complex was compromised, saying in part, this matter is being handled. In addition, the owner has gone over and above what is required and offered to put the tenants up in a hotel, and some tenants accepted this offer. In the meantime, Holly's searching for housing. She and her service dog are going back and forth, staying with family. Reporting from Midtown, off of Granton Park, Jacqueline Aguilar, Kagan 9.